According to my investigation, um, in my 15 years, uh, 15 years research, uh, currently the identities uh, are sold to illegals uh, in the country um, for uh, $1,500 each identity by government benefits and uh, police officers when the um, uh, citizens, when the, when the illegals are stopped by police officers, they are not touched or given any tickets even if they commit a traffic violation because um, they are instructed by the government employees who sell uh, who sell these identities to the said illegals not to touch the illegals if they stop them uh, doing a traffic violation uh, because I guess this comes with a package of the uh, citizens' identities according to my research and um, uh, it is a difficult situation because um, many people come uh, to the United States to um, get uh, jobs and government benefits and uh, it is very easy for them uh, to do so um, when the government employees uh, have access to the citizens' identities and can sell these identities to illegals. So, um, I guess it's, it's uh, a no-win situation for the citizens uh, because they they have nowhere to turn uh, since the, the very uh, government, their very government employees. Uh, um, who they have to go to to report these are trafficking or are uh, or are in it uh, uh, as, uh, so to speak they know that this is happening but they choose to turn the other way to turn their face the other way so the citizens are trapped and the their only hope is to die unfortunately like in this sample case and in other cases that uh, I have had during my 15 years research, the uh, citizens uh, die for lack of medication and lack of medical help, medical care because these are denied to the citizens once they, their identities uh, have been sold to illegals. And um, the purpose of this is that once the, the, their identities have been sold, the illegals have the right to um, their government benefits, their social security numbers and everything. So they, the citizens, American citizens, are not needed anymore. So what um, the only thing that uh, needs to be done, according to the illegal mafia uh, and its government em employees, is to dispose of these citizens. Uh, in other words, to assassinate them, get rid of them, so the illegals using their identities can use it without being uh, stressful, stressed out or nervous. And this is a summary of uh, fraudulent insurance given to elderly and chronically ill citizen Luis Aoyasu Medicare Part B as in boy, for which he never signed uh, signed up, and um, she uh, when, whenever she goes to a hospital she is denied medical care uh, and uh, the very basic medical care that she's given. Uh, is charged to the fraudulent insurance. Uh, this fraudulent insurance, even though uh, she has uh, told the, uh, the doctors and the hospitals that she goes to that this is a fraudulent insurance, uh, they, they uh, anyways charge it to to this insurance. And the government employees at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services at the Department of Social Services and at the uh, Social Security Administration offices continue uh, the trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits and the, the uh, citizens', citizens assassinations and murders. Many times by the hospital staff, the hospitals that they are forced to go to because uh, they don't have uh, medical insurances. Um, and the reason why, uh, going back to Richard Yarsun, uh, she cannot use this medical insurance is because unlike her real medical insurance, her New York State trade Medicaid, which was sold to illegals since about 2007, is that um, 
unlike uh, her Medicaid, this insurance doesn't cover uh, about 15 of the, medica of the medications that she needs to survive, and it doesn't cover uh, her medical illnesses. Um, so it covers about 20% um, of all uh, the medical, medical illnesses that she has, and she cannot see the specialist uh, and uh, get the medications that she has that she has to get because of this medical insurance. She is limited as the law states. And our Attorney General, Mr. Uh, Eric T. Snyderman, uh, knows about this uh, traffic, trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits, but chooses to look the other way, um, which is really sad because uh, according to my 15 years research, millions of USA citizens, um, Irish uh, descendants, Jewish citizens, Italian Americans, uh, Irish Americans, Hispanic Americans, um, they have died uh, for lack of medi medical care and uh, hunted down by the said um, government employees. Uh, until they, they were killed or murdered, uh, so their identities could c continue to be sold to illegals. Um, it is sad because this uh, woman uh, is being used, or her social security number and name is being used by the Department of Social Services employees in Westchester County, where she does not live uh, since four months ago. Uh, she has many, many open cases there uh, when uh, and the commissioner of the Department of Social Services in Westchester County is telling the taxpayers, well, I need half a million dollars uh, for this woman for her uh, to treat her cancer because she has two cancer operations. She also has multiple sclerosis and epilepsy and other chronic illnesses, um, maybe uh, physical illnesses. And uh, I need like a million dollars for this and I need another half a million dollars for that. But in the meantime, the taxpayers, he's telling this to the taxpayers. The taxpayers are giving him the money, and he's pocketing this money, giving um, uh, the piece of the pie uh, to his friends who don't prosecute him, uh, even though they know that he's doing this, uh, and uh, uh, giving the piece of pie to many people who should stop this but don't. So this is really sad, and um, according to um, my research mm, and the evidence that I have gathered, Lisa Oyasun, as millions of other citizens have submitted the legal um, documentation to remove the, this Medicare Part B as in boy given to her fraudulently by government uh, employees who are selling her New York State spread Medicaid to illegals in the country. She submitted the uh, appropriate, uh, appropriate uh, Social Security form, uh, which cites uh, a federal law uh, that states that if you submit in writing the fact that you want to remove Part B or Part, or, or part 8 or from your um, government benefits, the only thing you have to do is submit it in writing and they should remove it. Both the government employees at the Department of Social Services, at the Social Security Administration offices, and at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, specifically the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services in Jamaica, New York, they are falsifying documents and saying that um, these, the, this Part B cannot be removed, violating the law, the federal law that I just mentioned, uh, because the, the state, uh, meaning the um, multiple multiple felons that uh, are selling her New York State straight medications to illegals, uh, are paying $140 to keep her in Part B, even though she cannot use this in medical insurance to um, treat her illnesses. That's why uh, her immune system is almost non-existent, and her um, cancer came back a third time, and now she's dying of cancer. And uh, she was forced to file a lawsuit uh, in federal court, and she was threatened with um, uh, confiscation of her Social Security disability benefits, for which she worked dozens of years of her life. 
as many of the USA citizens who have been murdered by the said mafia, uh, composed of government employees. She was told that uh, they were going to confiscate uh, her uh, Social Security disability benefits, which is only $1,085, and um, they already have confiscated $13,000 of her Social Security disability benefits. Uh, and they already confiscated uh, $4,000 of her government benefits, uh, leaving her only with that fraction of her benefits, and they will confiscate that too. Uh, because she filed a federal lawsuit against uh, Mr. Kevin McGuire, the Commissioner of the Department of Social Services in Westchester County, for uh, elderly financial abuse, fraud, and identity theft, among other federal um, offenses. So she filed this federal lawsuit in the illegal mafia because this is an illegal against mafia member. Uh, when she filed the lawsuit against Kevin McGuire, they became very uh, upset with her. So they are retaliating with uh, the aforementioned against this elderly and disabled citizen who is dying of cancer. Um, we also um, uh, found that Luisa Yasun. Um, uh, this one, this bill uh, says you may be billed $92.53 is being billed uh, dozens of, uh, well, hundreds of thousands of dollars for her medical care when the illegals across the country using her name and social security number sold by uh, to them by uh, the Department of Social Services and Social Security Administration offices employees and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services while the illegals using uh, her social security number and uh, identity uh, are getting free health care and uh, free medication, courtesy of the taxpayers, of course. So it's, um, this is something that I wanted to show uh, you uh, So because I believe that the citizens have the right to know. This is uh, uh, a Medicaid notice from Westchester County Department of Social Services located at um, let me turn this off. Westchester County Department of Social Services located at 100 East First Floor, Mount Vernon, New York, 10550. And the notice number here is U554HP5051. And um, it is dated February 10th, 2016. Okay, the uh, case number is Anna Nancy 142683 H, and the notice number uh, again uh, is already uh, mentioned. The phone number is 914 995 3333. This says that Luisa Oyarsun is a refugee. If you see on the, uh, uh, she has circled, uh, it, it reads, medical assistance. We will discontinue Medicaid refugee medical assistance effective March 1st, 2016 to, uh, for Luisa Oyarsun. Uh, and client ID number is E as in Edward, D as in David, 09532H. And, um, Luisa Oyarsun has never been a refugee. <laughs> she is a USA citizen who worked dozens of years of her life until her second cancer operation and uh, her chronic illnesses of multiple sclerosis, epilepsy, uh, two leaking heart valves, three stomach ulcers, uh, problems with her pancreas and her kidneys, and um, she became hard of hearing. Uh, and these um, the aforementioned uh, government employees, Mr. Kevin McGuire, uh, who is the Westchester County Department of Social Services Commissioner and an illegal immigrant mafia member, has her in dozens of uh, government programs as, employ uh, as a refugee um, because they say that they closed the case or discontinued the case, but he never closes the cases because he's stealing a lot of millions of dollars from the taxpayers with uh, Lisa Oyarsun and her caretaker, Solange Martinez. And uh, he is using the taxpayers, he and his friends uh, are using the taxpayers as a, 
a private uh, bank account where they get money endlessly and the uh, taxpayers never finish uh, paying up to him and the illegal aliens mafia members that he works with. Uh, he also has it in domestic violence uh, programs and is getting a lot of money from the taxpayers for these programs. And Luisa Yasson uh, is single. She has not seen her uh, ex-husband for the last 15 years, 15, one, five, 15 years, and he still has it in domestic violence programs. The Commissioner of the Department of Social Services in Livingston County also has her in domestic violence programs. Uh, they also have uh, a, her caretaker in domestic violence programs, Solange Martinez, and she has not seen her boyfriend in the last uh, uh, seven years or so. Um, the last time that she saw her boyfriend was in 2008. It is now 2016, so approximately eight years, and they still they have her in uh, domestic violence programs for which she never signed up uh, and she never entered, and neither did Luisa Oyarzun. They also have Luisa Oyarzun as uh, seeing about 15 uh, psychiatrists on paper. And a psychiatrist can be, um, an illegal alien mafia psychiatrist, one of them can be charged, uh, can be uh, paid uh, up to $800 per hour uh, to see a patient. And if they have Luisa Oyarzun being seen by 15 different psychiatrists uh, uh, for, uh, say, one hour every day, that's seven hours per week, multiplied by um, $800 each psychiatrist, uh, because it's 15, uh, you, you can imagine uh, how much, how much uh, the taxpayers ha have to pay to Kevin McGuire and his illegal aliens mafia associates, just for Luisa Oyarzun. They also have her as uh, a a person who, who is in uh, five different nursing homes uh, and the taxpayers are also paying his nursing home friends for Luis Oyarzun's stay in there and Luis Oyarzun has never lived in a nursing home. Once um, she was taken by her caretaker take her to, uh, to a pharmacy and they told her that they couldn't uh, sell her the medication because she was in a nursing home. So, um, that's one thing. Then she was in a hospital and she, and she was told that she was an illegal person, an illegal alien, because she doesn't have any pers uh, uh, papers. So the illegal aliens using her identity are the citizens, not her. Um, they also have Luisa Oyarzun in adult protective services programs uh, for, from which she never got any assistance whatsoever and she never signed up for and they are paying a lot of money, you know, $200,000, $100,000 per year to a lot of people who are supposedly having her case, <laughs> whom she never saw <laughs> and never helped her in any way, shape, or form, but um, only went to her house uh, to uh, threaten her and intimidate her uh, when uh, she filed a lawsuit against Kevin McGuire and other illegal aliens mafia members. Uh, she, Luisa Oyarzun also uh, has been uh, in the many other government benefit, government, um, um, many other government um, programs that she never signed up for. So I'm just telling you a few of of the gov government uh, programs that she is. Uh, uh, McGuire put her in. And it is a shame that the taxpayers are paying all these, um, all, so many millions of dollars so the illegals can get free medical care and free uh, housing, free electricity, uh, free gas uh, on the taxpayers' uh, uh, you know, money, um, courtesy of the taxpayers. It's not fair. Um, and it is not fair for, for American citizens to be assassinated. Uh, it really breaks my heart to see how many millions of citizens 
American citizens, Jewish, uh, Hispanics, um, Irish Americans, uh, uh, Italian Americans, assassinated just because they uh, came across the illegal aliens mafia members working at the Department of Social Services uh, and who still sell uh, the citizens' identities. It is uh, really not fair. One thing that Luisa Oyaston um, has uh, gone through is uh, almost freezing, freezing to death because her government benefits for to buy the gas uh, in the trailer that she was forced to live in after her half a million dollar uh, that she bought was stolen from her by the state government uh, employees. Uh, they even stole her food stamps and told them told her at the Department of Social Services that she didn't qualify for uh, food stamps and she's below the poverty level after she worked dozens of years of her life for her food stamps uh, and her, I mean not for her food stamps, to get her about, her about $5,000 um, government benefits including the state pension and uh, her other government benefits and the social security disability that she is supposed to receive. But uh, she's not receiving because illegals are receiving it in, uh, in the form of government benefits. And the other part that is cash uh, is being taken and packeted uh, by the set of um, commissioners of the Department of Social Services. I should mention that um, uh, I am an endangered uh, citizen, and we saw Yarsun is an endangered citizen because we have uh, documented and reported the trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits by uh, government employees at the Department of Social Services, at the Social Security Administration offices, and at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Um, but still, we have to do this because uh, somebody needs to uh, be prepared uh, for the illegal mafia, and um, they need to uh, fight back uh, because the American culture is about to be erased. Uh, you cannot continue uh, uh, living uh, with peace of mind when you know that uh, when you become old, your identity and government benefits are going to be taken away from you and you're going to be disposed of like if you were garbage. So please uh, be aware that this is going on and protect yourself.